Andrews is a trailblazer in the world of sports. She made a name for herself reporting from the sidelines of the NFL's biggest games. But now it's her story of finally becoming a mother that is front and center. I'm the Tom Brady of IVF. Come on now. You know I tell you that all the time. She and her husband, former NHL player Jarrett Stoll, welcomed a seven pound, seven ounce baby boy on June 28th with help from a surrogate. The road to motherhood, a long and emotional one for the 45 year old sportscaster and podcast host. I've just been trying and like things haven't been going well. Aaron began IVF treatments 10 years ago, but then had to pause in 2016 when she faced an unexpected and devastating obstacle, cervical cancer. Following a successful surgery, Erin and her husband resumed IVF, but suffered in silence through round after round of failed transfers. Then, on her seventh round, Erin decided to go public in hopes of comforting families going through the same struggle. It's not easy. It's, it's been one of the most challenging things in my life, and I know in my husband's life as well. Writing in a 2021 essay about the emotional and physical toll of trying to have a baby through IVF. You could go through this whole experience and get absolutely nothing out of it. That's the crazy part. It's a ton of money, it's a ton of time, it's a ton of mental and physical anguish, and more times than not, they're unsuccessful. Two years ago, Aaron lost two embryos during a failed surrogacy. Over the last few years, have not been shy with my battle with cervical cancer and so forth, and there's a lot of things you deal with after you have it, and infertility is one of them, and, um, it was a devastating week, to say the least, in our house. But determined to have a baby, she tackled each challenge head on. She says even giving herself IVF shots during breaks while covering football games. And 16 days ago, Erin finally heard what she'd been waiting for for 10 years, the sweet sounds of a healthy baby boy. The new mom just beginning one of the most meaningful seasons yet. Oh, we're so happy to have sweet Erin with us. She's from Los Angeles. It's early there, but when you're a new mom, Erin, yeah. time it's like a casino yeah. in Vegas. There is no time. Whoa, baby, let's pull the slot machine. Hey, Savannah, good read. I know your producers were asking, have you cried yet? Well, there you go. Uh, good job with that one. That Aww. one got me. The Tom Brady of IVF. I can't uh, believe I said that. What a what a dream mother I am. Well, you know what? You, I, I, I'm just sitting yeah. here marveling with Hoda. I mean, you know, I've gone through IVF. Lots of women have, and they know. Yeah. You did it for 10 years, mm -hmm. this fertility journey, and I just keep marveling at your determination mm -hmm. and hope. It, it, it's a triumph of hope that you're having this baby now. Well, you sit there and I watch you guys every morning. I remember Kristen Welker's announcement on your show and you two breaking down. And I actually watched that the morning after Mac was born because I just that just hit me. I obviously know what Hoda has been through with her girls and everything. And Savannah, you mentioned your fertility journey as well. It's crazy. For so long, I just wanted to be quiet about it. Please don't say my name loud mm -hmm. in the waiting room. But then you look around. These places are packed. <laughs> You're not the only one going through this. And I felt like if I could be like a voice maybe just somebody people could look at and be like she's going through it too mm -hmm. it would help the whole process for all of us well when you wait for something as long as you waited it's such a sweet <laughs> moment yeah. when it finally happens when mac was handed to you will you describe that moment for us when you finally got to hold your little boy yeah, our, our whole journey with our surrogate and her family was incredible. But I mean, I'll never forget the moment I was telling your producers just right before he came, she asked to hold my hand. So I grabbed her hand oh. and I saw the tear coming down her face and he came fast. He was, my man was ready. And uh, so hence he's got a good little head on him and he was fast and they just gave him to her and, and put him on her and cleaned him up and then gave him to us. And it was just like, Hello, how are you? <laughs> it was just, but we have this picture when he was born and I am just kissing my surrogate's head and my husband is like holding on oh. to the nurse like he just won a Stanley Cup. And uh, it's like the perfect picture of surrogacy and uh, what we've been through. Oh, yeah, I'm mm -hmm. so glad you mentioned that surrogates are amazing. Mm -hmm. What they do for yeah, families, it's are. just incredible. Well, how has it been? I mean, it's been a few weeks mm -hmm. now. Your new mom. I mean, it's not easy, yeah. but it's wonderful. You worked hard to get here. What's it like waking up and being like, yeah. oh, here's this little human. He's here. 
Yeah. Oh, hello. It's great. And <laughs> and luckily, this is my off season. My husband's off season right now too. Um, I finally watched a little bit of football highlights with him yesterday, and I said to my husband, "Take a video of this. This is my dream." <laughs> um, I can't wait to talk to him, Hoda, all about the New Orleans Saints and yeah. how they're going to do this year. <laughs> but so it, look, we have a competitive household in in you know in our household with Jarrett and myself. So it's like I'll do the diaper because we both want to nail it better than each other. <laughs> um, you know if if he starts peeing through his diaper and he goes, I got it, I got it, because I want to like contour that diaper and get it around like, and I got the it ball. up on the sides better than him. Listen, I want to yeah. tell you something. Usually yeah. guys are pretty good at swaddling, so don't yeah. get into a swaddle off. I don't know yeah. why it's like a talent that they <laughs> have. Just a little pro tip. And just real He's quick. better at burping. I'm better at swaddling. Oh, okay. Like, oh, okay. okay. All right, just before yeah. you go, just tell us how you think motherhood has changed you, Aaron. Well, it's been two weeks, so I, I, I don't know. You know, it's funny. I've been just getting so many great text messages from so many of my guy friends that I work sports with, and they'll, they all just said to me, the way you think totally changes now. Um, you know, you're not just doing something for yourself. You're doing something for this whole group, this whole family. And um, yeah. I just, I think if anything, you know... It, I had a good friend and I was a little frustrated about something and she goes, better calm down in front of that baby. He's mm -hmm. going to feel it. So if anything, mm -hmm. yeah. Hoda, Savannah, I hope it makes me take a huge breath and be like, mm -hmm. all right, chill out. You don't want this baby to, you know, feel this. <laughs> no. Wow. It's an incredible right? journey. Right, guys? Right? Yeah. You right. promise? Oh, 100%. Aaron, Aaron, we're 100 with we're you. We're just sitting here thinking all the ways that our children, <laughs> it's true that children make you better because yeah. you want to be your best yes. yeah. and you can't act like your best. You have to be, be your, your best because they'll yeah. know. Yeah. But you are embarking on a beautiful journey, and we're so happy for you. We love you, Aaron. Yeah. Appreciate you guys. Thanks. Thank you. And you can read more mm -hmm. about Aaron's remarkable story at today.com. You can hear all about it on her podcast. How funny. It's called Calm Down. I love it. Well, I love that. Calm Down with Aaron and Krista Thompson. It is out today. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.